I just came back from the den. They said, you're still gay. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm Clinton. I'm Calvin. And what is Spelman Swims? And we're, we're back for another YouTube video. So, from the title description, you know it's our coming out story. This yeah. was very requested in the community post, so we're going to talk about it and we're going to dive in. Yeah, so let's get started. So, basically, I got us exposed. Um, yeah, it's so his fault that we are in this position. He can blame me, but look at our life now. I don't care, though. Like, because basically. It, it, my dad's girlfriend basically out yeah, of that, but we're going to go into that story. Yeah. So the reason why our father found out that we were gay is because of- Let me explain, because I had stuff on my iPod, I was talking to people, and uh, yeah, but I'm going to explain why, so let's dive into it. So basically, so me and my brother weren't allowed to have technology growing up, and so uh, my dad's girlfriend ended up letting us have our iPod, uh, iPods, and um, she, she was home by herself, and we had like sensors around the house. And so basically, we were asleep, and then she comes, she comes out the room and she opens my door, like, because I was watching a video, because we weren't allowed to watch stuff on our phone. And so I act like I fell asleep, and then she came in the room and she left. And then I couldn't go back to sleep, so I was watching these stick figure fights. I'll never forget, so I was watching these stick figure fights. And um, I ended up falling asleep with the phone open. And then she thought someone was moving again in the sensor, and then she came in the room and the phone was open, because remember, we can't have our technology. And so she's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'll never forget that voice. Like, what the uh, fuck you doing? I wake up, I wake up, voice. right, I wake up and I thought I was in a dream. But she gets all mad and shit, and she like takes my iPod, and she goes in his room and takes his stuff, and he was actually asleep, right? Where are you? Yeah. yeah. Well, no. I wasn't asleep. It was, it's hard for me and my brother to go to sleep yeah. in general. So she thinks that we were sneaking out the house. Yeah, like, like she bitch. thought we were sneaking out because we didn't have sensors and we had cameras in the house like we were fucking prisoners. Yeah. And um, so she thought we were sneaking out the house, but really, we were really just in the bed on our phone. She let us use our iPod because we told her like, we're grown. Like, why can we like have technology? Like, we know... Like, we're fine now, we use technology. Look, yeah. we're about to graduate from college and all that. Exactly. Still with technology. Right. Right. And we're still successful. To, to now what? So it don't matter. Yeah, I'm on my phone 24 7 for work, so it don't matter. Yeah. But, anyways, so she took the iPod, and mind you, it was funny because a day earlier she was like, um, why do you guys have path codes on your uh, iPods? We should all be open and like have our, have our take our pass codes off. Our dumbasses take the pass codes off. And it and so happened this next day, when all this shit happens, she ends up taking our iPods. I feel like no sensor fucking went off. Right. She didn't, so she took our iPods during that night when mm -hmm. he uh, fell asleep yeah, and left fell asleep, the, yeah. the action figure game yeah, on, so if she, you guys are confused. Yeah, so she took the iPods, and so I knew from there, it was, I knew our life was over. I knew, I knew it was over because I knew she was gonna find something inappropriate. Yeah, I mean, I, I know how to delete shit off my phone. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah, so, you did. He was just so dumb not to delete stuff off his it phone. It don't matter you say I'm dumb, but it don't matter because now, look, it's like we need to get out that situation. Okay, I get it. We but need I'm an excuse. I'm, right. So, that happened. I'm grateful for it, but I'm just saying you were dumb to leave it on your phone. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, so next morning, so she, because our dad leaves to work at like, let me not expose that, but he leaves to work you know, early. And so she leaves early as well. So we go to school by herself. We we literally walk to school. And so I just knew that, you know, she looked through our shit because she's nosy as fuck. And so, um, so our dad, I'll finish this. So our dad, so he comes, so Judy. Cut, 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 cut. I didn't want to say her name. So our dad's girlfriend, she comes home from work and she, we always hear the garage door open. That's how we know when she's mm -hmm. coming because we'll hear the garage door because our, my bedroom is was right, right, right below, uh, below the garage. garage, and my brother's was right on the on the right side of the room. And so we have our own rooms. So basically, the garage goes up, and she takes forever to go, come up. And I was yeah. like, "Oh, she found something on our iPod." Yeah. And I knew it was something gay related. I have good intuition. I knew that's what she found. I've been knew this. I knew from the get go. Right. But what made it? We knew something was wrong because our dad, our dad always sits in his office, and so he goes down. He goes downstairs. Yeah. And, yeah. Outside, I'm like, and he, he never does. He get never. Up. He does not get up when he's done from work. He'll go. <laughs> his bed or go on his uh, computer he never gets up to go do nothing yeah so he goes downstairs then they go they're in the garage and obviously they're talking about the situation so then he comes back upstairs and he's and like he's like which, which one, one of you guys are the faggot? you cannot sit out on youtube oh. which one of you guys are that it's fat it, yeah. yeah so he says that and my heart dropped mm -hmm. and so, and so because he was facing my room first, so I, I didn't say anything. I was just sitting there, and then uh, he, like, kicked me. Like, our dad's, like, he's huge. So he, like, used his foot and, like, he turned me all the way around in a circle. And so, and, and then after that, he was, like, get up, blah, blah, blah. And then he, like, pushed me in my chest hecka hard, and I, like, flew back on my bed. 
And um, yeah, and that happened to me. Then he went to his room. And then he went to my room. They didn't find anything on my phone, so he said he didn't find anything. But he he's like, I didn't find anything on your phone, but you're still a that mm, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna say the word. And then so I don't know. I feel like they always resented me. I don't know. Maybe because I resembled my mom, and he did. He had me. He, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think it was definitely that because they both resented me so much, and I feel like I had a lot of anger growing up, and mm -hmm. I feel like they took that one out on me, and I was. I'm not saying I was looking for attention, but I do definitely know I had a lot of anger growing up, and they, they didn't know how to really, like, talk. They're more of, like, those tough love type mm -hmm. people, are very hardcore, and they definitely didn't show that they really cared like that, to my opinion. Yeah, and it's not like we're, we're shaming them or yeah, anything, I'm not saying, I, I feel like the lessons we learned, like, we, we learned a lot from them, like, and I'm not, and, like, I, we learned to forgive, forgive them from, for all that, but, like, I wish we could I talk still to have them. a lot of hate yeah. in my heart, though. Yeah, because we haven't lie. got to talk about it to them, so. And it, do, it does bother me, it's gonna keep bothering me, but, as I move on, mm -hmm. uh, we're living a great life, but, um, to keep going back on that, so he he comes to my room and he takes my so we had an iPod that we use and then we also had like our main like trap phones like they're like those keyboard phones the weak shit so we get the, so he he takes that phone for me and I guess I handed it to him wrong, a weird yeah, way like, how do you hand someone how do you hand my phone a weird way and then he like he what like, did you do no he kicks me in my neck and he's like uh, why he was like he got mad he kicked me in my neck and then so. After that, he was like basically saying, I knew it was over once he said, when you guys graduate, I don't want, he said, I don't want to talk to you guys, I don't want to do none yeah. of that. Until so we, we turned turn 18, because mm -hmm. we were 17 at the time. And this was our last year, this is our senior year, but our, it senior was December. year, December, so it was the yeah. B, it was B, the B semester. B semester. It was the end, it was ending of our first semester, and we were going into the next, next semester. semester. So. And so we had two more months before, to, before we turned 18, so we knew, like, he wasn't going to talk to us, and, and he weren't, we weren't going to get any good treatment, like, sports was all out, like, right. Yeah. So, we, so me I took the initiative and this was a like I, I couldn't think like I was just so my mind was just mind boggled so I ended up I'm packing I ended up packing my stuff and I ran away mm -hmm. I ran away and I went to my school and our school was like right by our house it's Laguna Creek so we went to what our school I ran to my school sorry me only me I ran away and then I went met with one of my friends Sarah Olson I'll never forget she let me use her phone and I called my friend Jace and he's uh he's a good friend he went to Laguna Creek as well he cuts our hair but he ended up moving to Texas so I miss him but beside the point we ended up I ended up calling him he let me stay with him and then after that my brother so this is a weird story he'll finish it yeah so it's crazy I knew everything he was doing when he ran away I didn't knew Exactly what he, he did. He knew I went to my I knew friend he went, I knew. I knew he called. I knew he went to Sarah Olsen because she was in color guard. So they stayed late at night. Mm -hmm. You couldn't hear from our house. I knew he went there. I knew he used her phone. He didn't have to tell me. And I knew he went to Jason's house. So it's so weird. Like, and so we had. Uh, so weirdly enough, we had another phone. We hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we hit it. Yeah, we, we had. Hit. It. I, it was another phone. We hit. We could not have technology, so we yeah. had to hide the shit. Mm -hmm. So thanks to our boy Kobe, he took our uh, the, the iPhone fours we had, and there was another phone. And so like I was texting her around from the other phone I got inside the closet and I was texting Calvin that phone was like broken yeah that phone almost. was broken so I was texting uh Jace or whatever I was like is Calvin there blah 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 something like along those lines and he was like uh show proof and then I told Cal I said Calvin you know the phone uh, it makes an oh he said in a picture and and I was like Calvin you know if I took a picture it's gonna make that click sound no matter what even if I turn on the volume and he was like Clint yeah that is you it was so it was so, so sad. sad I keep we always talk about that yeah part, it was like it was like a moment it was a it was moment like, it was like it was like you know everything's gonna be okay, okay we right. got each other basically so. i didn't want him to feel sad that we got caught because of yeah <laughs> i felt i felt better because i was like he's not mad at me i'm not know. mad it was honestly even down the road our relationship with our father and his girlfriend was it was bound not, to be yeah it was fate that we we're not going to talk to him regardless yeah. so it's like it, it was, was like, we might as well do it now right you know? it was it was a good timing but um we did suffer a lot from all that because mm -hmm. it was so like fast paced i ended up running away i had nothing to wear so basically so basically the next day uh, we talked about like i told my brother that night uh bring clothes because so, we're not gonna yeah, come back we're not coming back so, so i i was gonna I, so this goes to the next morning so I'm, I'm like laying in the bed though and i was sad so the next morning um normally my our dad is worked early so he, i get up and i was and our plan we talked about when we were texting was to pack clothes so i'm getting up and i'm getting ready to you know hurry up and leak i knew it was my last day there and so i'm pa i'm going to the room to go uh pack and my dad's in the office i'm like oh fuck and then, um, so I, there's this bag, uh, like a, 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 a trash bag with a blanket in it, so I was taking it out slowly. And so I go into his room, because all of our clothes were in his room. And so I was getting ready to pack, and then all I hear is a, <laughs> and the chair gets up. I was like, oh, fuck. 
And so while I was packing stuff, my dad, our dad comes in there. He was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I ignored him. And then he tried. And then and then he got in my face like he was about to punch me. He was like, "Oh, fucking answer me, blah blah blah." And then I was like packing clothes. He's like, "No, the fuck you not." He takes the bag from me and dumps the clothes all on the bed. And so the remember he was saying like he took our phones the previous night. So the previous night he took the phones, but our alarm goes off for us to wake up for school. So he goes in there and take and goes turns off the phone. Luckily, so I grab I run into the uh, room grab grab a whole bunch of underwear and socks and then uh, I grabbed my toothbrush and my old retainer I had and then uh, he came out and he was like he just kept following me around the house so I won't take any clothes you know that because he said I, these are my clothes I bought them bitch like what like it don't matter so basically, so basically so after that I left downstairs he my dad opened the garage I grabbed my final bag and closed the garage and left and never came back so with that being said it's just crazy because like all that stuff that happened, you know, we had, so like you said, we had underwear and just what? S underwear and socks. Yeah, so that's all. We had to start from scratch. So um, we ended up doing everything from scratch. So we reconnect with our mom after 11, 11 years. years. Yeah, we didn't talk to her. Because he would not allow us to talk to us. And his girlfriend was a jealous ass bitch and would never let us see her. Mm -hmm. um, so we always remember our mom's number. Yeah, so we call her um, because we have to stay with our friend Lucius. Uh, so we only were able to stay there for three days and his dad said so we can't stay there no more. So we so had to we figure, had to figure out, what, out to what to do. So we ended up calling our mom after 11 years. So we ended up going out there. Um, and then after that, you know, it was, it was kind of rough because we ended up being depressed and all that stuff we were super sad we had to start from scratch you know we mm -hmm. were so used to like our school mm -hmm. Laguna we wanted to finish there but we went back to our birth town birth towns are our birth towns Reading yeah we were born yeah. in Reading so we so, went to our birth town we stayed there and then our, uh, and then we ended up staying with our twin cousins Anthony and James Williams and they mentored us and we ended up getting a scholarship for track for, to Sac State and it's crazy because our times were good enough to where we didn't have to run our senior year. They said that we didn't have to run. Mm -hmm. And so, so we got a scholarship for track and that paid the way for us to go to Sac State. Mm -hmm. And so we um, came back. Yeah, so we came back. So all in all, that's the gist. I'm not, if you yeah. guys want to see the whole story, well, yeah. we're going to link it down below because we had a podcast with our, fr our friend from, you know him from Team Beach Movie, Gary Clayton. Yeah, so you guys want to watch the full story on everything that transpired, mm -hmm. yeah. go watch there. But that's the gist of us coming out. Mm -hmm. Um... So, I do want to finish it off by saying one thing, though. I don't know if you guys got all that. We're probably talking too fast. But, you know, if you are, you know, questioning yourself and you want to come out, I think it's best, like, take your time. If you're not ready, don't do it. Unfortunately for us, we, we got out forced, it. Yeah, we, we out forced, got out yeah. it. And honestly, I do want to say this, like, my dad's girlfriend, I do want to say it was very fucked up on your part that she didn't give us the opportunity to come out, out like, ourselves. Yeah, like, let's, we, we could have talked together and then told our dad. Right, and you, and you literally, I remember once you told me I was in the car, if you're ever gay, come talk to me. So the fact that you, that went through your head, that went out your head, that was fucked up. And I, I truly want to say that I will never probably talk to you because you guys will never let us. So I really don't care. My life moves on. But if you're watching this, which you guys always watch our stuff, I'm pretty sure. I think that was a fucked up move that you made and we didn't get the chance to come out the way we wanted to and you know how our dad is and we didn't get a chance to talk civilly because mm -hmm, you so. wanted to run your mouth. You didn't think before you spoke. I thought you were a grown person, a grown woman. You should have known better. I'm very disappointed. I don't care how old you are, how older you think you are. That was an immature move of you. Very immature. And I need to say that to get that off my chest. So if you're watching this, very immature. So, I just want to leave this note by saying, yeah, like like you said, if whenever you want to come out, you know when the time is. And I promise you, when you do come out, you are unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Like, no one will, can tell you anything. No one can tell us anything. Because at the end of the day, I make my own money. At the end of the day, we're, they're struggling. Well, not struggling, but I don't know if they're happy or not. I know we're happy. We We... we make money doing what we like. I like the videos. Like We love you guys. We have yeah, supporters. supporters. I love every yeah. single one of you guys. So I really, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate you guys mm -hmm. for giving us this platform to speak. And, you know, anybody who's this is inspiring to, I'm very happy that you get to see, see this and hear from our opinion, hear our side of our coming mm -hmm. out story. And thank you. And thank you guys for listening. And I really appreciate you guys. So, um, if you guys like this and you guys want to know, see, like, know more about our coming out stories, want more questions, mm -hmm. uh, feel free to let us know. We will be gladly answered. We'll be glad to answer those questions. Yeah, so feel free to ask us any questions, guys. We're here for you guys. So, so until then, I'm Calvin. I'm Clinton. And, and we're the Spelman Twins, and we're out. See y'all in the next video.